Hello and welcome to Ionic Tips Weekly, Episode 7, uh, the weekly Ionic show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, so this week I wanted to take a look at just a simple example of using a loading overlay. And in Ionic, the loading overlay, it's basically just uh, it's an overlay that will uh, be displayed on top of your application and it just indicates that some kind of uh, loading process is taking place. Basically, if we want the user to wait for something, uh, we can display this. And so I've set up a, a pretty simple example here to replicate a, a login sort of flow. And so I just have a login button that's going to trigger this navigation after uh, four seconds. So uh, I'm just using a set timeout to do this. Obviously, you wouldn't usually use a set timeout uh, to do this, but I'm just trying to replicate uh, what it would be like to make a call to a service, which then maybe goes off and sends the user's details to a server to check their login. And so basically this is just going to create a wait time of four seconds uh, before we can trigger our action. So let's take a look at what this uh, process actually looks like now. So if I just open this up in the browser here, if I just click this login button, I click it and nothing happens. And if I just wait around for a little bit, eventually it just kind of, you know, switches over to the detail page, which is like the, you know, we'll pretend that's the logged in view. Now this isn't a very good uh, user experience here uh, because basically what we want to be doing is when the user does something, we want to give them instant feedback. And when I click on this button and nothing happens, uh, it's going to leave the user thinking, you know, well, what's wrong is the application frozen. And it just gives you sort of general sense that the application isn't uh, performing well. So ideally what we want to happen is as soon as they click on this button, we want to do something. Now in this case, we can't do much like the ideal situation would be to, uh, you know, make it instantly navigate or, uh, you know, allow the user to use the application in some sort of other way. But if we're in a situation where we have to make the user wait, they can't do anything else until their, say their credentials have been uh, checked, then we can use a loading overlay to at least indicate to them that uh, something's happening. We're working on it and it'll be done soon. So I have the uh, documentation for the loading overlay uh, up here. Uh, if you want to find out more about you know the various options that are available uh, with the loading overlay, I'd recommend uh, checking them out in here. Uh, we're just going to be using just a simple uh, message on the loading overlay. Uh, you will notice the documentation uses the uh, async await uh, syntax for handling the promise that the loading controller returns. Uh, we'll just be using the standard uh, promise syntax instead, but you can use uh, whichever you prefer. So what we need to do in the code is we need to import the loading controller, and then we're going to inject that into our constructor. And what we need to do is we need to create an instance of the overlay, and then we can toggle that overlay on and off. Uh, so usually you want to, not always, but often you might want to uh, create a class member to hold this instance just so we can reference it from various you know, parts of this class. Uh, you may prefer to say create a method that handles creating the loading overlay, uh, but you know, doing something like this is fine. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is create uh, our loading overlay. And so we can do that by calling this dot loading controller dot create. And then we just pass in the options for the overlay that we want to create. And as I mentioned, there are you know, a bunch of options here that we can use, but all we really need to do is supply a message if that's all we want. And so I'm just gonna create a message here and it's just going to say authenticating. And then uh, this loading controller uh, returns a promise which will uh, resolve with our actual overlay. So if we handle this promise, that'll pass in uh, the overlay. And then I'm just going to assign that overlay to our member variable there. So we'll say this dot loading equals overlay. And then uh, since you know we're creating this within the login method itself, uh, we can just call uh, uh, this dot loading dot present. And that's going to display the overlay. And then all we need to do is uh, whenever we want to hide that overlay, which we would want to do in here, we can just call this dot loading dot uh, dismiss. And so obviously this is just one example of how you might use it, but that's the general approach. Uh, it doesn't have to be for a login uh, situation, but uh, I find it usually I think is generally the only time I ever use it just because it is a, uh, it's, it's blocking. It won't allow the user to interact uh, with the rest of the screen. So 
if it's not necessary, you don't want to stop the user. You know, if you're making a call to a server, you can still let the user use the application without, you know, blocking them with a loading overlay. Uh, but in this situation with a login, uh, you, you know, you might not want them to be interacting with anything during that process. So uh, I find this is probably the most common scenario that it's actually used. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. So we'll jump back into the browser, get the application up and we'll click on the login button again. And you see now we immediately get that authenticating pop-up, uh, that overlay display. And then as soon as the uh, loading is done, as soon as it's finished authenticating, the overlay is dismissed and we're taken to our uh, logged in view here. And you can see that that's just generally a much smoother and nicer process. We immediately get that feedback. We know that something's happening. We, we know that it's making a call to a server. It's checking our login details. And then we're taken to this page once it's done. And I do want to stress again that you should use this sparingly. You don't just want to use the loading overlay every single time you're making you know, a call to your server or something. You should only use it if uh, if the user shouldn't be interacting with the screen at that point. Uh, but if you can, you should always load stuff in the background and let the user keep using the application whilst you load in um, some data or something like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this week's tip and I'll see you again next week.